Hey, fanboy nation. This is your pal Daffy Duck, and you're watching. You're watching. We're watching. You're watching. Fanboy. 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 A fanboy, etc. Fanboy nation. Dot. I assume. Uh, um. <laughs> You know, we're talking about Acapulco today, premiering on October 8th, uh, weekly on Apple TV+. Plus. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, uh, I've seen the first eight episodes, and it made me feel like I was left with a cliffhanger going, where's the rest of it? We have two more, so lucky you, and they get better and better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the entire show has come to this crescendo at the end of eight episodes. Uh, no, no spoilers, but your characters are, uh, you know, an Emmy award winning actress who now decides to move to Acapulco and take over this resort with her son, Chad and Cord, uh, uh, you'll have to forgive me, but I do have to, I have to tell you the story. I got an early morning text from a friend of mine and they're like, what are you doing today? Who are you interviewing? And I looked at the call sheet and I was like, I don't know, some British rapper because like your name didn't stick <laughs> right away. Because your name is Cord Overstreet, so I was like, I, it sounds like a British rapper to me. Oh wow, thanks. I uh, I appreciate that. You know, um, I've gotten a lot of things. Never a British rapper, so I'm gonna I'm adding that to the uh, my resume. Yeah, that that's for the next series. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, Jessica and I uh, are a smidge older than you. We remember the '80s a little bit better than you do. Uh, you know, you were only five years old uh, when when the uh, well, no, I'm sorry. You, uh, the series takes place five years before you were uh, even considered an option for your parents. Uh, what's it like to revisit the 80s in this regard for you? And then, Jessica, for you as well, what's it like to try to go back and uh, remember the side saddle ponytails and everything else that we had as kids? Right. I mean, it's cool for me because I never really got to see this stuff up close. And, like, I've only gotten to see this stuff in older photos or, you know, movies and uh, other than the mullets, and I don't think I got to see enough of those. I got to see some, but not not a lot. <laughs> For me, uh, you, you know, I yes, I was around in 1984, but uh, I was a probably a, a, a tween. Um, so I didn't get to do anything. I didn't get to do anything fun. But but I do remember watching all of these wonderful women on TV, and I knew I wanted to be an actress, and I would watch television and I would watch, you know, Dynasty and Dallas and all of these fabulous 80s shows and just think one day and I didn't know I'd be playing one on TV, uh, but it's been really fun to revisit the 80s as an adult and, uh, and in this very safe place to do so. And just go on top of this, you get to dress as if you were on Dynasty and have all these glamorous shoulder pad gowns. It's amazing. All of my clothes are made by hand. Some of those dresses and jumpsuits are made in a day or two. Our entire costume department, they worked so hard and they are really part of, I, I say our wardrobe, makeup, hair, myself and the writers, we're all creating this character. It's not mm -hmm. just me. This, it really does take a village to build Diane Davies. You know, the, the series has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the relationship between Diane and Chad is more employer-employee than mother and son uh, <laughs> in this regard. Uh, the only disappointment that I have that I will say that people don't get to see in the first two episodes is that we don't get to watch Chad try to learn how to break dance. Oh. You know, or Diane teach him how to pop and lock. Are we saving that for season two? Well, they actually had it written in the um, first and the second episode. And then when they got on set, they realized I couldn't do any of those things. And then they cut it out. Thank God. Um, but no, I think I think the world the world doesn't need to see that. I think I think I think we could save them uh, from that. Well, I mean, this is a, this is a phenomenal cast. It's an international cast. It's a Spanglish language series. You know. You have people of Mexican ancestry, Colombian ancestry, people from the United States, and so on and so forth. That you know, what was it like coming together in order to create these characters in a uh, in an environment that reflects 1980s Acapulco? Because Acapulco was a gorgeous city up until you know a few years ago with uh, the situations that that were going on politically. Yeah, I I think it's a 
as an actress, it feels like a once in a lifetime experience. I can't believe I'm in a Spanish English show. Uh, how I how I managed to pull that off but I, in an international show, I feel very fortunate. Um, this is Apple TV Plus's first go with this, and uh, it's it's fantastic to be a part of it. I'm really proud of that. You guys pulled this off. Like Ted Lasso was like the go-to show on Apple TV, and here you guys, the the next iteration, and the the way the Apple TV Plus has been putting on their comedy series. You know, this is the next big thing to hit. This was absolutely a lot of fun and enjoyable to watch. I power watched through the first eight episodes. Yeah, That's I, fantastic to hear. Thank you. Yeah, and I think what's great about that, uh, the Ted Lasso is uh, of it all. It's I think for a while, every, all, most of the content I was used to seeing was either uh, it, it, it was like dark. It wasn't like this heartfelt, wholesome kind of thing. And I feel like people have been like longing for that, especially with, uh, you know, having a big dose of reality brought to everybody's uh, front door. So I think that like Ted Lasso has kind of paved the way for and, and shown that people really do want wholesome, heartfelt uh in comedy and like kind of a relief from reality and taking taking a break and i think the best thing about or one of the best things about this show is that it takes place in the 80s because it adds so much of an escape because it's it's really cool i love it uh before i let you go this is the final question it's going to jessica on october 8th when acapulco drops on apple tv plus why do we need to tune in for the first episode and then power through the next nine Oh my goodness. Well, because it's a fantastic show, but I think it's just what the world needs right now. We need some joy. We need some heartfelt fun. And I can promise you Acapulco delivers that. Well, you two definitely helped pull it off with the rest of the cast. Congratulations. Acapulco, October 8th on Apple TV Plus. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you Thank so you. much.